Welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are doing another sweet Sunday with a twist, however. I know you guys are always excited for another sweet Sunday, and because of that, I need to truly thank my Aussie friend Bill for the idea he came up with it. I do not take any credit for the naming of this series or anything, it was all him. Thank you so much for your support and being a friend. You are truly incredible. We have been friends for a year and uh, it has been great. I am happy to have you as a friend. Also, next sweet Sunday that we do is actually going to be a request from one of you guys. So, with that, what songs are we doing today? Well, I told you Twist. That was a clue. We are doing the song Peppermint Twist. But, like I said, it's Sweet Sunday with a twist. We are doing Joey D and the Star Leaders version and the Sweets version. So, with that, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. We are almost to 3K, so please subscribe. It only takes two seconds of your time to hit that button. Also, switch the notifications to on so you get all of my content. With that, let's get into it. So the first one out of the two we are going to do is Joey D's version. This is from 1961. Um, from what I understand, they are the original, the oh, people who originally did this song. So let's check it out first. Here we go. Peppermint twist, what you love, Did the right version I have written down some thoughts of that one but I'm going to switch straight over to the sweets version and we're going to compare the two after that and talk about what my thoughts are on each one so the sweets version here we go
Alright, flat out, I like the sweets version a lot better. And I will tell you why a little later. But this is obviously a song for a dance. They created the dance. And uh, that, that's what the song is. So first, let's talk about Joey D's version. First, I love the additions of the horn. It's very 60s. The sound, very 60s. The vibe, very 60s. It has that funk to it, which, again, is the 60s. How many times can I say that word? I like the clap in it. It makes it more fun, more like you want to get out on the dance floor and just dance along to it. Very bebop. The vocals and the added vocals were a nice spin on it. The only thing I don't like about this song is the instruments get lost in each other. They're not clear like they are with the Sweets version. Now, let's move on over to Sweets version. You get that clear instrumentation that is lost in Joey D's version, the original version. It still has that funness to it, that catchiness. It has the sweet spin to it. Their glam, their glam rock mixed in with the bebop. It is really unique and beautiful. It's more fun to me. It had the 70s twist to it. They kept to the original but still made it their own, which makes for a great cover. A lot of times artists try too hard to be the original and do what the original does, but it's the greats who can stick to the original but add flair to it and make it their own without that original getting lost. The Sweet absolutely does that. The guitar had that 70s tone to it that I always really enjoy about the 70s. I, I just enjoyed the vocals here more. They're more full, they're more fun, they're theatrical, which is sweet. Harmonies and the ooze added in really gave it a nice touch, a nice spin to it, more fun to sing along. You can, it's very simple the song in general, I should have said that earlier, but here they have the, the 60s lyrics with the 70s style and that's what I really like about this. It's blending the 60s and the 70s together. So I kind of went through what I thought about each song while blending in the things that I find different about the two. Overall, I just, I like Wheat's version. I keep putting an S on it. <laughs> but anyways, those are my thoughts. Let me know your opinions in the comment section down below. And uh, with that, tomorrow you guys are going to have some Bee Gees. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and well, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.